Every two years, the skies of Darwin and surrounds come alive with exercise pitch black. Pitch Black 2018, the Royal Australian Air Force's largest ever multinational exercise, features 140 aircraft and over 4,000 personnel from 16 nations. And this year is a joint three defence forces exercise. As an expression of the Larrakia Welcome to Country and to mark the commencement of preparations for Pitch Black 2018, Larrakia traditional artist and elder Joe Raymond presented the RAAF with a significant painting depicting a number of Larrakia totems. It symbolises the very best about Australian mateship, uh, working with our international partners and, uh, and symbolic of course of the Larrakia people here in the top end. Pitch Black 2018 officially commenced in Darwin on Monday July 30th as aircraft from Australian and visiting nations took off for the first week of day-night exercises known to participants as Force Integration Training or FIT Week. The missions vary, you know, they all practice operating either here out of Darwin or out of Raft Tindall and operating local procedures, coordinating with air traffic control, doing from one-on-one -on -one air to air manoeuvring. Uh, Four, four ship versus other aircraft kind of beyond visual range engagements and also down at Delamere Air, Air Weapons Range dropping uh, high explosive weapons. Thursday, August 2nd, the Darwin community had their first taste of Pitch Black 2018 as over 10,000 spectators packed onto Mindel Beach for an impressive fly pass. More than 40 aircraft thrilled spectators for 90 minutes with a mix of formation and single flights. It's absolutely great putting on these demonstrations to try and get the, uh, the, the youth of today interested in a, in a military career. We had uh, Hornets, we had uh, F-18s, the uh, Super Hornets, Growlers, the C-130s and the C-17s, as well as some of our international friends flying their Gripen and the Rafales. And not to forget the Osprey. I would say that probably a couple of hundred kids were covered by the spray, which I thought was exciting. I estimate uh, probably half of those will join the Air Force now. Good evening, I'm Paul Lynham and I'm Noddy Sawad and welcome to the Pitch Black Open Day prequel. Noddy, let's look at the Open Day tomorrow. On the eve of the Pitch Black 2018 Open Day, Paul Lynham, the voice of Pitch Black and Air Commodore Christopher Noddy Swade broadcasted live from the studios of Radio Larrakia 94.5 FM and through Australian Indigenous Radio on the vast satellite to 2,400 Aboriginal communities across Australia. Noddy, about 10,000 people, I think, were on the beach to watch a fabulous air show. Yeah, the, the place was packed, Paul. There was uh, a really good crowd down there. Yeah, I, I think people are going to remember, though, firstly, the, the um, Osprey, that MV-22, the tilt rotor marine aircraft with the beautiful spray coming from underneath oh, it. It was yeah, just no, magnificent, I mean, uh, wasn't it? That one way to get a shower at the same time yeah. as watching the aeroplanes fly. Yeah. It was fantastic. All of the uh, aircraft that flew there last night from the different countries, did so straight voluntary. They don't have to do that. They come out, they want to do it for the people of Darwin. They want to show off. I'd have known a pilot that didn't want to show off. So people can start looking at these aircraft from nine o'clock in the morning. They can, the gates will open at nine and uh, they'll be out uh, uh, open all day until four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. 
Pitch Black 2018 Open Day and thousands of local visitors, families and aviation enthusiasts from around the world stream through the gates of the RAAF base Darwin. So this is a good military diplomacy for us and for all around the world in our region especially. At the same time, we work together for a good interoperability between country and region. So thank you very much to invite us to join the Pitch Black exercise. This year's record crowd of over 20,000 people took the opportunity to meet with Air Force personnel and take a close look at the many Australian and international aircraft and support vehicles on display. So this is a multi-nation exercise. Um, it's a way to bring everyone together to make sure that we're all operating under the same blanket and um, just really integrating the team as to where we're going with our operations and improving our capability. We've got 15 nations uh, from local and Europe uh, and the Pacific forces uh, all the way through to Japan, Sweden, France, Southeast Asia, of course, in a big way. We've got the Philippines this year. We've got Thailand back for the first time in 10 years. The Malaysians, our good friends, uh, the Singaporeans, uh, the Indonesians. Can't forget the Canadians. We've got the Kirk right behind me here. Also, uh, our Indian friends for the first time with their Sukhois. The Marine Corps, you know, here every year, of course, and we've got the US Air Force down as well. My name is Megan, and I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm actually with the Marine Corps, and I'm a V-22 pilot. It has the ability to uh, take off like a helicopter and then land and fly like an airplane so we can land in zones and we can also take off from runways. I'm uh, Manny and I'm from New Jersey. I'm also with the Marine unit here and I'm a V-22 pilot. One of the best. She is, she is the best. <laughs> so, were these the pilots who sprayed spectators at the Mindel fly pass? I did not. I was not, unfortunately, but uh, those guys put on a great show for, for everybody there. I did not fly that uh, profile either, no. Yeah, he's back over at the squadron. I think he's flying today as well. So, I think it's an awesome opportunity to get out here and actually see these things up close instead of you know, seeing them from the ground, seeing how big they are and kind of like walk around them. The Pitch Black 2018 Open Day also provided some interesting insights into the RAAF. Basically, we employ 12 Aboriginal people from all over the country, so from Darwin is part of it, with the Larrick and Keir people, with Tyndall, Townsville, Brisbane, Sydney, Wagga, uh, Victoria, Adelaide, Perth. My job is to manage the network that engages with Aboriginal communities right across Air Force. And so it's a great job. I get to work with my people every day, and I get to empower our young people that are in uniform now to run programs for kids, to have employment opportunities. Often too, we get to uh, exchange cultures between, you know, the Air Force culture, which is which is very Australian and English. Now to bring Aboriginal culture, the oldest culture in this country and the world, now bringing it into the Royal Australian Air Force. Um, it's a great job. We stare into each other's eyes. In a full day of entertainment and activities, visitors enjoyed rides, food and drink stalls, interactive exhibits and displays. Including the popular, highly trained Air Force dogs. The soundtrack for the open day came from the world-class Air Force Band. Ain't nobody loves me better. Makes me as well as the latest and greatest aircraft and old-time favourites. The open day included ground support vehicles, surveillance and air traffic control units, and Australian Army displays. This is the only local aircraft from Darwin. So we have 17 of them here in Darwin. And uh, basically we are an armed reconnaissance helicopter and we're here as part of the army uh, to support the infantrymen and tie into uh, the, the whole army piece and support the infantrymen with our onboard weapon systems and sighting systems. It's good for the locals to put a face to the noise, I think. So we, uh, I think 
because we have 3,000 horsepower and four blades, we make a little bit of noise around town. And for the locals who hear us uh, to come and say good day and ask us about the job day to day, I think that's the best thing for us is because they can, they can put a face to it. With the beautiful Darwin weather and so much to see and experience, the record attendance of over 20,000 visitors would all agree this year's Pitch Black 2018 Open Day was an outstanding success. Well, Pitch Black 18's come to an end. Three weeks of intensive flying out here with 140 aeroplanes, 4,500 people, all welcomed by the people of Darwin. We really loved your hospitality, we really loved your welcome, and it's fantastic that we've come this far and we're going to do it again in 2020. We'll all be back. Thank you very much, Darwin. We love you.